Hey everybody, I'm coming to you guys right quick because I have something I want to address. I know I've said a lot lately, you know, talking to y'all about what's going on in my life and um, I can honestly say yesterday God gave me a sense of peace that I truly thank him for. Today is a rough day for me. It's really, really hitting me because I sat down and I had a chance to go back and um, actually read all of the comments that they left. And evidently, it's been not just yesterday, but a couple of days they've been leaving comments about me. How can you support people on the Internet and don't support your own, the people closest to you? I am supporting the people that's closest to me. I mean, if you don't hear from somebody, how can you say that you're close to them? You ain't spoke to them in, um, in I know, six months. I don't get that. So, yeah, I'm going through some things today, y'all. Um, and it's in my spirit because to know people sitting back and talking behind your back instead of picking up the phone and calling you and addressing the issue that they have with you, that's bothering me. It's bothering me. So, with that being said, on a lighter note, I had a um, one of my YouTube sisters um, to send me a message, um, and um, she asked me some questions. You know, she asked me to pray for her. She's going through something in her life, um, and y'all, I want to say, women, we are very complex in so many ways. And I am addressing this because this young lady is married. No, because you don't know how to act. You being bad. Janae. Janae. I'm making a video. Um, she's going through something in her marriage. She's got some health issues. She's not, well, something's going on with her body. And she doesn't feel like she is um, doing her duties as a wife um, to take care of her husband because she's got some issues with her female organs. Um, she's having a cycle the majority of the month and all except like one week out of the month. Okay. Now, she's she's got, I think she's going to be going to the doctor to get it checked out. But... She came to me about it, and I said, okay, I'll do a video just in case. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Just in case somebody else may be having similar issues or the same thing that's going on. Women, I want you to not beat up on yourself. Um, I understand, and you know, with men, we got to remember, y'all, that is a big part of a man's life. Sex. And when you have a husband, um, once you get married, your body no longer belongs to you as far as the Bible is concerned. And his don't belong to him. But to me, I feel like to a certain extent, men should be understanding when things go on with a woman's body that they cannot control. Now, if it's just a woman just constantly saying, I don't want to be bothered with you today. You know, that's a difference. There's something going on between the woman and the man or maybe just the woman, period, that she don't want to be bothered. But when there's something going on with your body that you cannot control, I feel as though a man should be understanding about that. Because anything can go on with anybody that is out of their control. And we have to live with that unless there's some way to, you know, get it under control. So, Sugar Pie, I want you... To understand it's not your fault. Um, and you say you have exactly one week. <laughs> that you are free of a period. And this is one thing I want to say to you. And I'm not sure if you've ever thought about it. But those three weeks in the month. That you are going through that. Put it in your mind. That when that special week come, and that's what that's what I would call it, my special week. Hold on, y'all. I dropped the back off my earring, down my shirt. I would call it my special week. I would choose those days leading up to that time to plan out an outfit. 
or a theme or come up with a um an alter ego that you would like to show your husband on monday you could be um make me happy marissa put on your cute little nighty if you wear heels get out you a nice pair of heels if you wear wigs get you a special sassy wig um if you don't have any children, cook him a nice dinner for that particular night. Or if you want to dance for him, whatever you want, let it be special on that first night. That's day one of y'all special week. Day two could be take him out to lunch. Take him out to dinner. Come home and, hey, have another little outfit. You know, um, if you go to, say, for instance, somewhere that sells spicy food. How I would do that? Spicy food, you you need something to cool it down. So um, I would get my um, my red thong panties, my red bra, and get me some bright yellow suspenders. Try them on and get me some nice pumps. Get me a little fireman head. You can get that from the dollar store. And I would put out his fire, baby. I would hose him down. You know, use your imagination. And, um, you know, that's day two. Day three could be all about being home and cooking him a special meal like candles all over the place. Nice bubble bath. And that's way back Wednesday. Put on some um, some nice, you know, um, old school slow music and you guys can sit back and talk. And if he's feeling himself, if you make him rise, take him all the way back to motherland, baby. You know, those kind of things. You could choose that to do. You got a whole entire week to do something special. And I guarantee you he won't forget it. Those days that you're not able to do that. And you may not want to do that. You know. But then you may want to do that. I'm just saying. This is just a, a suggestion. That can help you to feel better. About yourself. As his wife. You know. Um, think about all the things that he like. If he likes sports. If it's some sports coming on. That night when he's done watching sports. Put on one of his jerseys. Tie that bad boy up in the bag. Knot it up. Put you some cute little boy short underwear if he like boy shorts. Put you on some athletic socks pulled all the way up to knee. Put you some of that little black, um, little grease under the eyes. When he in there, walk in the room, put me in, coach. I'm going in, coach. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you know, I'm on your team, coach. That You see what I'm saying? That's Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Um, Friday. Fabulous Friday. Freaky Friday. Whatever you want to do. You got a whole week. Even if you only want to do five days. Do five days. It'll take you a break those two days to get yourself together. Whatever you want to do. Choose some days and make them extremely special for him. That way he won't he won't forget it. You know. And then the next month. Um, if you don't want to do a different person each day. You just call up Carmen. Carmen is the, the what? She's the house mother. Those days that those few days that you have that are open, do something else that he might like. Um, he likes cigars um, in, in all the rooms in the house. Make sure you have his cigars laid out, his slippers. Um, if he wear his wife beaters and his in his pajama pants, lay him across his chair, you know, fix his meals. Um, if he want to sit down and watch a movie, y'all sit and watch a movie. He want to go out, but you put on your little red wig, whatever you want to do to transform into whoever you want to be. Turn it up. Turn it up. If you need a little extra stimulation as a woman, think about something that makes you makes you hot. You know? If you're not feeling yourself or if you're not feeling confident and about what you want to do, get in the room while he's not at home. Try on everything that you want to wear that night and you practice. Turn on your music and you you practice. You look at yourself and you you feel yourself. You get yourself ready for that. That's your husband. You can do whatever you put your mind to do. So I just want to encourage you as a woman. I want to encourage you as my sister, Cookie Pie, I want you to be encouraged. We all have things that go on in our life that may not, um, I mean, even me, myself, my sex drive is not what it used to be. And that's a, that's a bummer. That's a bummer, you know, because I just turned 41 and um, we, and you know how I do it. We role play. We flirt with each other. Um, even if we ride to the corner store to get a pop, we go up there. 
and we flirt. He, I walk in the stove. Um, behind him, he goes in first. I come in behind him and brush him a little bit. Flirt with him. I do whatever I got to do. Whatever I got to do. It's not like it used to be. We change as we get older. Things happen. And like, we don't even have to be older. We got some young women that have had. I got a, um, my girl Yaya. She's in her early 30s. And she's got a, they're talking about removing her her female organs but she wants to have a baby and everything is not going to pan out the way that we plan in life but we got to try to do what we got to do and one thing i know that a man needs is a woman to rock his world his wife and it's like just because we get older sometimes we get set in our ways but um I try to turn it up. I try to change. I've tried to because I used to be so settled. T-shirts and jeans and pull my hair back in a ponytail. Not anymore. Not anymore. You see this wig right here? Mm-hmm. This is. Um, let's see who I could be. I can't be nobody right now because um, I'm cramping like crazy. So I'm just Teresa today. Teresa is. You know, Teresa's in her feelings today. Yeah, I'm in my feelings. And I just want you to be encouraged. And if you need any anything else you want to ask me about. Um, and I do that too. Even now me, when I'm on my cycle, I flirt with my husband. We don't get physical. But I tease his behind. I tease him. Mm -hmm, I tease him. So when that day come, he be good and ready. I tease him. Flirt with him. You know. Do something you don't normally do. I walk around. I had some old jeans. I cut them bad boys off. And um, they fit real good. It's just that they were flare legged. But they fit good everywhere else. And, and I know he loved wife beaters. I put on my tank top. And put on me a nice necklace and some earrings. And put on my little wig. Lotion up with my favorite lotion that I know he like. I tease his behind it every day. I sure will tease him every day until that time comes and I can open up the can and so I'm like Corey surprise <laughs> surprise 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 <laughs> so I just wanted to come and encourage you and anybody else that might be going through um, something like that with your sex drive may have changed or something is going on in your body that you're not the same I just want you to be encouraged. Know that where there's a will, there's a way. And um, if you have to, sit down and talk to your husband about how you're feeling. And ask him, you know, how does he feel? And um, you guys just go from there. And um, I wish you the best. Y'all, we, we got to do what we got to do for these men. Because there's so much tits and ass out there. Excuse my French. They now just giving it away like it's... A cold okay and um when you in a committed relationship like that you you got to try to make it work it's compromised between husband and wife so i just wanted to come in with this quick video i thank y'all for watching i love y'all and um y'all stick y'all hold in there y'all just be strong be encouraged that's what you do. I talked to my girl Valerie today and we we she is really what opened me up and I told her, I said, you know, I get to the point some days in my I get so much in my emotions about my husband to I want to be his everything. Y'all know if y'all know what I mean, amen. Uh I want to be his everything. I want to I want him to leave walking on his tiptoes. I want him to when I say leave, when he leave home and go to work or he's going to hang out with his boys walking on his tiptoes. You ever seen a man that's bow leg walk on his tiptoes? He walking with his chest stuck out and his shoulders back and he pimping. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. It's all like that. That's that. That's what I'm talking about. I want him walking like that. I want him holding holding his head up high, shoulders back. He walk like that. But just that little extra kick. I want to be his everything. When he leave me, I want his nose wide open. I want him to be able to think about my baby. Man, I hate to leave my baby. Be with his boys. Be like, nigga, I'm going home. I I see y'all later. So I do what I can. You know, I love I love to to tease him, to flirt with him, to kiss him on his neck, and um, 
clean up his house. It ain't clean right now. Well, it's clean, but um, I'm washing clothes. But it ain't clean, clean like I want it to be clean. But just do little special things for your man that you know he like. Sometimes we have to put our feelings aside about what we want and what we want to do. And just make sure that he's okay. Make sure his mind is right. Make sure everything is in order. Because if he's going to work to provide for us, whether we have a job or not, he's still the head of your household. That's if you're married. Now, if he's just your boyfriend and you still want to treat him like he's your husband, then you do so. But if you don't feel like you want to give him everything that you got, you want him to um want to say, I do. Then don't give it all to him. Give him a little glimpse. You know, it's certain things that you give out. You don't want to give him everything because why would they tie the knot if you're going to go ahead and give it to him for free? You know, that's what people say. <laughs> but me, myself, even though I just said that, some men you have to treat like that. Some men you don't. So if you know your man and you feel like he's not that type of man and you can give him all you got and you can be his all and he, you know that eventually you two are going to get married, then fine, do so. I didn't go into my relationship with my husband with any kind of expectations at all. We just started dating in high school. I didn't even know I was going to be with him so long. You know, we've had our ups and our, our downs. We've broken up. We've gotten back together. You know, we've been through some things. But I believe in who I am. I have my beliefs. Um, and I didn't believe in running behind no man. I didn't believe in questioning him all, all the time. Where you going? Who you going with? One thing for certain, two for sure, I'm me. I know what I'm capable of. I cook. I clean. I don't need nobody to do that for me. I can take out my own trash. I can get my behind on the city bus and go pay my own bills when I have to. That's one thing I do know. That's one thing for certain I do know. So it ain't about me trying to hold on to no man to do all of these things for me. It's about me as a woman and what I'm capable of and what I got and what I know I can give you and what I know I can do to make you smile. I'm going to clean my house the way that I want it to be clean. I'm going to cook what I like to eat. And if you want to be on the bandwagon, I throw some extras in there for you. I let you know what this is what you can have. Come home, your house clean. Your clothes are folded up and put in the drawer. Your towel and your rag and your special soap is laying on the arm of the tub. Whenever you get ready, dinner is on the stove. I'm sitting down. If he drank beer, I have his beer in the refrigerator chilling on ice. Whether he drank wine, whatever, his special glass, his man glass, his boss glass, however you want to do it. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. If you decide that... What I'm doing, all of this I'm doing is not good enough and you want to go find somebody else. My feelings be hurt. I cry. I be crushed. But bye bye. Because one thing for certain two for sure. Ain't nobody going to do that. These girls don't do that no more. You got to get nails done. Toes done. You got to buy Lil Chuck and Deshaun and uh, Juju and all of them. You got to buy for all that. No, 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 and no. I don't send my girls to the beauty salon. I never have. I've always done their hair. Because you know what? When that time comes for you to go in your pocket and put it in my hand, it's all going where I want it to go. I don't need you to do that for them, even though they're your children. If you want to give them money to go to the salon, you give them that. But what's coming to me is coming to me. And I do what I want with it. I take care of my house. If he needs socks, I go buy him a pack of socks. I ain't stingy like that. But what I'm going to do is take care of what I know I need to take care of. And if you're not happy here, then there's nothing I can do that can make you want to stay here. Nothing. All I could do is be me. That is it. All I could do is be me. So, ladies, be confident. Be confident. Stand your ground. Love yourself. I don't care how many jelly rolls, how much cottage cheese, how many bald spots in your head. I don't care how many moles you got in your face. I don't care how many teeth you missing. If you need to go in and get you some falsies to slip in over your teeth, then you do that. If you need to get you a little a, a black um, eyeliner to chill in it to make that little mole look a little cuter, you do that. Put your little get you some of them little jewels, the little rhinestones, and put on that mole, and you good to go. You good to go. That's what you do. Comb your hair. Keep you some smell good on. Um, all of that old good stuff. 
one what one man don't like another one will and he will treat you like you like you what made a goal that's one thing for certain too for sure i can remember being pregnant i mean big as all get out i mean stomach hanging all oh, ain't seen the pocketbook in days months weeks ain't seen my kneecaps that's how big my stomach was and it's like the bigger i got the more men wanted to holler and i was like wow where they do that at face all swole nose all swole all this kind of stuff just wrong just really wrong i'm like woo, but you know what men like what they like and if one man don't appreciate it he will one day Sorry about that, y'all. Child, something caught my eye on the TV. But anyway, guys, you know, it's a lot of things that we can do as women to encourage ourselves. You know, I don't care how much your knees touch together. It don't matter. Put you some glitter lotion on. Get down there. Get in a sumo squat. Get you a rag with some alcohol. Noxzema. Whatever you got to do to scrub possible and impossible. Make sure it's clean. If you like it shaved, shave all the half. Whatever you got to do. If your titties hanging down to your ankles, tie them bad boys up with a slingshot and keep it moving. Love you, honey. If you got to put you some, tort some little rhinestones around your nipples and swing one of them bad boys around that nigga neck. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. It's all good. It's all good. So believe in yourself. Love yourself. Go and get yourself checked out if things are not working out. And um, just, you know what? I didn't say the most important thing. I really didn't. Pray about it. Talk to God about your feelings. Let him know exactly what you told me. You want to be that woman to make your husband happy you want to do all that you're supposed to do as a wife there's a whole lot more to being a wife than just you know us laying down with them i know that's the most important thing to them tell you the truth but um all of that other stuff it's all about the virtuous woman if you haven't read it in the bible pick it up or excuse me google it on your phone the virtuous woman scriptures about the virtuous woman and read it and go from there scriptures about strength encouragement love how to be a wife all of that stuff you can google it go to unveiled wife on facebook if you're on facebook and subscribe to her page and i promise you every day it's like it's something that is much needed as a wife because here's a woman that is talking about everyday situations talk about when her and her husband don't agree how she handles it do she fly off the handle she don't always you know fall into the right category like she should but then she turns around and she pray about it ask god to forgive her and then she prays for her husband and that he understand and she make amends from there but unveiled wife all of you even if you're not married i ask you to subscribe to unveiled unveiled v-e-i-l-e-d u-n v-e-i-l-e-d unveiled wife on facebook that is one that helps me it helps me it teaches me when things are not going right and your husband being mean how you still put your feelings aside and pray for him mm -hmm. whether it's your husband or your boyfriend or or even if you have the same, if you are in the same sex relationship, it's the same thing. Same thing. And um, I just wish you the best. If you have any other questions for me, anything else, Sugar Pie, please don't hesitate to ask. If I don't know, I can, you know, try to find out some information for you or find somebody that can help you. So that is it for this video, guys. I thank y'all for watching. And this is a part of my total. It's called the ministry segment. What else I want to call it? Vlog. 
It's called the total woman. The total woman is what it's called. <laughs> and I want to say, um, Angel Brown Eyes, I want to thank you so much. Um, she is another one of the ladies that has offered to um, donate to the total woman um, ministry. The total woman ministry will be um, at the end of the month. Um, I have a lady already in mind that I want to help out as much as I can. My husband said he's going to make a donation. And it don't have to be a whole lot. I mean, if you want to donate $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, whatever you feel like your pockets can handle. Whenever you make a donation, I will let you know who that person is if they want me to. Because not everybody want everybody in their business. You know what I mean? Some people are okay with that. But this lady that I have in mind, um, she has gone through some things. She lost, um, you know, certain family members and she's going through it and having to start completely over. And when I say start over, start over with clothes, start over with furniture, all of that. They, um, they need beds, they need living room furniture, they need all of that. And um, so I'm choosing for the next, I said for all of this month, but it depends on how it goes. You know, if I get some more people, I've had one um, donate, one other person to donate. And that was uh, Victoria0402. Hey, Pooh, I want to say thank you to you for your donation. Um, and um, Angel Brown, Brown Eyes is the second person. Um, I've had another young lady um say that she was going to donate, but I know she's got a lot going on right now. So I will not even ask that question to her if she's going to do that. Whenever she feel like she's able to do it, I'm pretty sure if that's what she want to do, then she'll hit me up and let me know. Um, so Angel Brown Eyes, um, I look forward to receiving your information in the mail. Um, and if anybody else is willing to donate to this person, um, you just you would have to send me a money order or whatever it is you want to send. And because I'm going to calculate all the dollars at the end of the month and what I would do is um, I'm going to Western Union. That's if everything is in cash. If it's if it comes in a money order, um, you know, I will cash it and then I'll go from there. But I want a Western Union, the, the, um, the funds, if they come in gift cards, then I'll be putting it in the mail. You know, so whatever I have to do at the end of the month um, uh, is what I have to do. So I have to wait and see what all comes in. But this is not for me. This is for a young lady that I want to help. And each month, if somebody comes to me and say, you know, um, I would like to be entered in your um, your monthly giveaway because I need some help. You know, let me tell y'all something. I don't need people coming in just wanting to get some things just to get it. This is something serious to me. If you're in need, you're in need. If you're not, don't do it. Because even if you feel like you've gotten over on me, one thing for certain, two for sure, you don't get over on God. Because he's sitting high and he's looking over and he will, he will, he will repay you for that. So, um, I'm not just going to, you know, accept it like that. You know, I'm going to ask God to be my guide. As to, you know, who it is. But this particular person, you know, um, I want to help out. And anybody else. And also, um, uh, I'm still, I'm going to start back. Once I get my computer, I'm going to start back working on my shirts. My t-shirts. And um, we'll just go from there. So and this is a almost 30 minute video. I know it's long. But you know what? It is what it is. And um, I thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. And um, y'all have a good night. I don't know if I'll be back, but I might. But just in case I don't, I pray that God continue to bless and keep each and every one of you. I pray that he cover you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I pray that your mind, your body, and your spirit be restored as you sleep tonight. And as you arise in the morning, I pray that God... That he um, order your footsteps, that he guide your footsteps, that he send his angels to protect and keep you and your family. In Jesus' holy and precious name, I say thank you, Lord Jesus. And I say amen, amen, and amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Bye, suckers.